Hi there, Joey from PowerhouseAffiliate.com. Today is part three of the $1,000 a day Google Ads Affiliate Marketing Series. I'm gonna talk about how to build the most optimized landing page possible to maximize your profits as an affiliate marketer using a Google Ads. I'm gonna show a couple of examples. I'm gonna show you some ideas for this particular campaign we're running in the pain niche that you might have seen in the previous videos. And if you haven't watched the previous videos, don't forget to check the link in the description for the playlist of these videos that I'm doing. It's a seven part series on Google Ads affiliate marketing that you can check out. Also, for those of you who want even more in-depth details on Google Ads as an affiliate, you can check out my 30-day Google Ads course down below, showing how I've spent over $6 million on Google Ads in the past five years, running affiliate marketing offers, in particular, CPA affiliate offers. Okay, so let's get started on landing pages. Why are landing pages important? And why do most affiliates fail with this part of it? The reason is because their landing page doesn't meet the destination requirements of Google. And there's a lot of rules around this. And a lot of people think that Google does not like affiliate marketers. But in fact, that is a complete lie. I've showed that in many videos. I'll pop up one of the most popular videos recently on my channel that you can check out on my description of what is happening for affiliates and why they're getting banned and all of that stuff. So check out that video if that's interested, if that's interesting to you. The landing page is very important, especially when it comes to the relevance of your ads. When we start setting up ads, it's important that our keywords that we've chosen for this campaign match the ads that we're running, but also that our landing page is also relevant to that search. By doing this, we're increasing our position, we're increasing our click rates, and the cost per click gets better. Best of all, our conversion rate goes up if our landing page is relevant. So let's go into my computer. I'm gonna show you where we are with this campaign that we're setting up for this series of videos here. And basically what I've found is that within the back pain niche that we've been talking about in the last videos, there is an even deeper niche inside of this and it is all around the sciatica the sciatica nerve in particular, and a lot of people who suffer from back pain are, are actually aware of their problem and they are aware that it is involving the sciatica. And if you look at the cost per click when you start to dive even deeper into this back pain niche, instead of going for keywords like back pain relief, which is kind of broad, if you can even get deeper into your niche and look for specific problems like this, where people are looking for sciatica exercises for a cost per click of 17 cents um, with 3,600 searches a month, according to this tool here, SEM Rush. You can get an access to SEM Rush down below using the 14 day trial link, and you can see this data for yourself in whatever niche you choose. But basically, you can see here there are some great keywords for low cost. And when I look at this, it makes me think that there's an opportunity here, not only to get really cheap traffic, but also to build an email list. So when it comes to your landing pages, you really have to decide what is your goal? Do you want to do a direct sale of a product or service? Do you want to collect leads or subscribers for yourself? Or do you want to arbitrage the traffic somehow and make money back from people clicking on ads? In this particular case, I want to convert a CPA affiliate offer into commissions, but at the same time, I want to build an email list. So that's what we're gonna be talking about in this video about landing pages. We're gonna talk about squeeze pages in particular, and we're gonna build an email list. Now, if you're wondering why I would wanna build an email list in this niche, there's a, a whole bunch of reasons, but the, the reason why I like to build email lists is because you basically can send multiple offers to your, your list over time. You can build a following, you can build a, a blog, and you can start monetizing your blog by sending your list actual information that they wanna learn about perhaps sciatica or whatever your niche is when you're, when you're setting this up. So we have an entire course at powerhouseaffiliate.com. There's a link down in the description for our email marketing course telling you how to set up squeeze pages, how to set up your tracking, how to collect emails, and the follow-up sequence that comes that comes after, which is all automated, and you can check that out. But for now, I'm just gonna show you how I would go about setting up a landing page now. So let me show an example of an actual squeeze page. This is, they call it a squeeze page because you're trying to squeeze information 
out of the visitor, including maybe their first name or their email. And you've probably seen pages like this before where you, you arrive on a certain website. This is my own website here where I'm giving away a free ebook and I'm asking people to give me their name and email, at which point they will receive the book and then more information about affiliate marketing or digital marketing. This is just an example in another niche, and this is very common practice where you're setting up these forms. To do this, it's actually really simple if you have the right tools, and the tools I use for this are WordPress. So I'm using a WordPress dashboard here. If you've seen WordPress before, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, then check out the training down in the description for Powerhouse Affiliate. We have a free course talking about how to set up these websites really quickly. Next, the thing I'm using is the Optimize Press plugin. You can see here over here on the left side, I can actually create new pages and when I create new pages, I can actually choose templates that this plugin has created. And this plugin will actually connect to a autoresponder service like Aweber, which I use. And you can actually connect and have people enter their email on your website. And the email will go into your autoresponder, at which point you can set up your autoresponder to send messages every three days, every one day over 30 or over 60 days, whatever it is you wanna do, you can create this and you can start sending messages automatically. So let me just show you an example of what I'm working on now for the sciatica and I wanna show you what we're doing. So this is one of the templates inside Optimize Press. We want to make sure that we have certain elements on our landing page, especially our squeeze pages, in order to improve our conversion rates, but at the same time, we wanna make sure our, our page is relevant. So what I've decided I'm going to do in this campaign when we get to the later parts of the campaign is I am going to focus on the sciatica and my keywords will be related to sciatica and the offer will be one related to back pain from ClickBank. Now there's lots of offers here, which is great because as I build the email list, I can start sending other offers related to back pain. I could set up an article on my blog related to back pain, promoting one of these offers perhaps. But the one we'll use for this example is back pain breakthrough because it does have a nice video. So what I've decided to do is we're gonna do a tripwire style funnel, basically. All of this described in the email course at Powerhouse Affiliate. But basically, we are going to set up a squeeze page that eventually links to this offer. So in order to do that, we come back to our squeeze page and we take a little, what I've done is I've taken a screenshot of the video and I'm telling people that they can enter their email to watch a free video on a, a new way of relieving their sciatica pain. Now, one important thing here when you're setting up your landing pages is you want a really good enticing headline. And if you're not good at coming up with headlines, you can check out the offer page itself for the affiliate offer you're running, or you can use a tool like Jasper. You can see here, I've come up with some ideas here. Give me five headlines for a free video on sciatica stretches and it's given me some headline ideas here. I'm also using it to come up with some of the paragraph parts below the headline here. So you can actually just easily come up with the content using AI, which is great. The next thing is you wanna make sure you check it on mobile. Now the great thing about Optimize Press is I can come up here and I can select mobile and it's gonna show me what it looks like on mobile. And as you can see here, this is not gonna work well for me because I don't have any call to action above the fold. And this is extremely important. This is one of the biggest elements of your landing page is your call to action. If the people can't see it right when they click on your page, then it's, it's probably gonna affect your conversion rate. So what I need to do here is I need to shorten my headline. It's way too long. And I wanna have this call to action above the fold. So I'm gonna to have to do that by shortening my headline here. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've shortened the headline here. You can see fix sciatica pain with one thing you can do before bed. So it kind of sparks some kind of curiosity. They wanna maybe perhaps understand what this is. Also took a screenshot from the video sales letter from the ClickBank offer. It says, helped me discover targeted spinal release. Again, triggering some type of mystery. Oh, what is this, okay. And a little bit of credibility here with the ad seen on. <clears throat> and then a little blurb with, are you struggling with sciatica pain? You know how debilit if, you, if you're struggling with sciatica pain, you know how debilitating it can be. <clears throat> and then I'm not asking for anything. I'm just saying, watch this video, the call to action. So when they click, watch this video, it's going to pop up a little overlay and it's gonna ask them to enter their email address there, okay? So it's a two-step little process here, which again, gets people engaged. They don't see anything related to entering an email yet. All they see is a call to action. I want that little micro step where they click the button to watch the video. Then the next micro step is enter a name and email 
and then they watch the video. When they click watch the video, they're then sent to the actual back pain breakthrough offer, and they're now going to be sold on the back pain re uh, relief method here, okay? That is the trick here to build your email list while using a tripwire offer. So there's ways you can actually improve your conversion rates with your landing pages doing this. There's certain things you really need to factor in when you're doing your landing page. So let's do a recap. One of the most important things is your headlines. You're going to want to test your headlines regularly. This image is also very important. You want to have an image that creates a little bit of mystery in the person. It, it invokes emotions with people. So maybe they, they're wondering what it is, or maybe they think they're going to miss out on something. Whatever it is, this image has to be something that is very uh, attractive, we'll say, to the visitor in terms of what their problem is and how this might be able to be a solution. You want to make sure you have a little blurb about the problem that people are facing because they want to make, you want to do a little pre sell here about what you're trying to get them to do. This is about sciatica. This is about sciatica pain. This is going to be a relief method for you, a little blurb, and then you want to have the call to action and you want to make sure your call to action is visible on mobile. Okay. That is very important. So using a tool like Optimize Press, you can do that. You can see your mobile version here. And then all of this below here is stuff you can work on. You can have bulleted items, very important again. And that's what I really like about Optimized Press is they've tested their templates. They give you everything you need in your template and you can fill in this information later if you want, which I highly recommend to improve your relevance of your landing pages for Google search ads especially. So that was it for the Google search ads landing page portion. I would highly recommend you use landing pages, squeeze pages, whatever it is. Do not direct link. And if you want more information on how to set this up and you want to learn about the rules of what your landing page has to have, all of those things that are important so that you don't get banned, check out the 30 day challenge course below where we go into more in depth information on creating these landing pages, the step by step process to do it all of the things you need to know so that you have highly relevant landing pages and high converting offers on your page. So thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next part where we start talking about tracking and setting up goals and what we need to actually optimize for in our Google search ads.